Hi, and welcome to another edition of One Side SA, the soccer show that uh, everyone's talking about. And uh, we're going to go straight into last one standing. Budge, uh, it resumes this week. Yep. We've knocked 100 off. 100 off. And uh, it, it looks uh, like there's some interesting games. A lot of people have had the, their top teams. The Man yeah. City boys have got to find something else. Well, I want to see if they're all on Man United after last night. Who Man United got? Man United home? play Huddersfield at home. So expect a response. But uh, I think there'll be a lot of people on United. Yeah, I think there'll be a lot of people. So don't forget, get your bets in this week for uh, last one standing. There obviously wasn't this past weekend. But uh, our international pundit Stevie B's on the line. Stevie, can you hear us? I can. Good morning. Morning. Steve, morning. Uh, Stevie, we're going to get rolling with you with, uh, obviously, the, the deadline date is closed for premiership signings. And uh, Budge has yep. given me a list of the, the major ones, and uh, I think Unum can touch on them. And uh, Aubameyang uh, to Arsenal. Yeah, no, I mean, he is a good player. He scored a lot of goals uh, in the Bundesliga. He's got a very good record uh, for Dortmund. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, uh, I see... Uh, Giroud went to Chelsea. Desperate signing? Uh, I, I think, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting listening to the pundits yesterday and uh, this morning uh, driving in that they all seem to think that Conte is going to be off. You know, they, they just they can't understand what their their sort of strategy is. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that, uh, is I she mean, a I Russian mean, Giroud's woman? a good player. I like yeah. Giroud, but, you know, he isn't, he isn't the player that's going to win them the Champions League. Sure. I just can't, you just say you find it strange. I was just reading the, an article. There's a Russian woman that's in charge of transfer policy. How can that be? Yeah, yeah. She, uh, she used to work, she's worked for Abramovich for many, many years and just sort of worked her way up. Marina Gramsoska. And she has a lot of power. And basically, everything goes through her now. Um, and, you know, she, she deals with all the contracts. She is the link between... Um, the, the management and, and Abramovich. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. You know, Giroud and Barclay, you know, you sign Morata for 70 million, then halfway through the year you're signing Barclay and Giroud. Yeah. You know, they're both not starters at Everton and Arsenal. That just doesn't make sense. But I agree with you. I think he's off. End of the season. Well, it sort of gives the impression that they're not quite backing him. Because um, if they did, then they would have uh, brought in sort of, you know, one or two quality additions. So, and I think last night's result mm. uh, just sort of reinforces that point. What about, what about Dortmund? Now, Dortmund have got uh, Batshuayi. What's his name, Batshuayi? Yeah, Batshuayi went, on, went the other way. Yeah, I mean, obviously there was a sort of a little triangle that needed to be uh, completed. Uh, and I think, ultimately, uh, Arsenal got their man. I, I, you know, they, but, uh, they haven't been given Giroud enough sort of game time, so I think it was important for him that yeah. he needed to move and Chelsea made it very clear that Batshuayi wasn't uh, going to be a regular starter so I think that suits everybody Dortmund have probably not come out of it you know as well apart from the fact that they you know they needed the money so and yeah. Aubameyang made it very clear that he wanted to leave Steve uh, that Laporte signing from Atletico Bilbao another 50 million and yeah. a half for Man City I mean, he's, I mean evidently he's, he's highly rated he's relatively young um, you know at, at City it's interesting listening to uh, Somebody, when I was driving in this morning, the pundits, and they were basically saying, look, City have won the league, they're walking away with it, but Pep you know, still thinks that if there's good players out there, he'll get them. Whether they need them, um, it's more a case of you know, he wants them and, and the board are prepared to back him. But they have walked away. They walked away from, from the Mares. They weren't prepared to pay the $95 million that Leicester valued him at. I think, yeah. um, you know, I think even they thought that was a little bit too rich. So. Yeah, I just think it's a big step from Atletico Bilbao. You know, he was maybe the best player in a, a mediocre team, but yeah. if he was that great, I thought Barcelona have been looking for defensive well, reinforcements. Well, I mean, he is rated highly, so well, yeah. you know, he, he, whether he's going to think they'll stick with him. I mean, they've just um, uh, loaned out Mangala to yes. Everton and yeah, went through very late sure. last, in, mm. last night. What about my beloved Spurs, Steve? A great win last night. The horse won it at was, the races. I mean, I mean, if you blinked, you missed the opening goal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but, and, I, and I thought, so, so, you know, United responded very well straight after, and mm. I thought they were going to get back in the game. But, but once, once uh, I don't know what Phil Jones was doing, but I mean, he took his second goal very well. But after that, there was only one team ever going to win. Yeah. And I was very disappointed with United in the second half. Yeah. It was just something just wasn't. Uh, that's the Tottenham worst I've ever in seen. The yeah, I haven't seen them well, play that badly. In the end, Tottenham, very well, very worthy winners. What about the boy we've signed, Lucas Moura? 
from PSG. Well, yeah, no, I mean, he's, he's uh, I mean, Brazilian. He's got a good reputation. For whatever reason, he's fallen out of favour uh, in PSG. Uh, I think they've, they've Tottenham have signed him for a you know, relatively modest fee um, compared to his ability. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, Tottenham you know, kept hold of their big, big names. You know, they just brought the one, the one player in. Yeah. So, but it's interesting, but the results, as they were last night, with yeah. Chelsea United losing... Tottenham uh, sort of made up ground. How so, do you see the Moritz? Very much in contention. Yeah, Steve. How do you see the Moritz situation playing out at Leicester? Well, I mean, evidently this is the fourth window that he is asked to leave, um, and, and the impression I, I understand is that. They did promise him at some point that they would let him go because he's he's been with them for a number of years. They mm. paid very little for him. Yeah. Um, but you know he obviously was frustrated with the situation and handed in a transfer request. Yeah. Uh, but, mm. but you know, but in the end, uh, Leicester have sort of mm. uh, put him out. What he does now, because he's now basically said to, to the club he wants to leave yet again, and he's now got to sort of reintegrate himself with with his uh, fellow professionals. Uh, he might be a little bit upset with him. So. Mm. Yeah, and the other major transfer, Jordan Hugel from Preston to West Ham. What do you think of that? <laughs> well, I was I was a little surprised. I have to mm. say, I thought if he was going to go anywhere, it would be to another Championship club. Yeah. Um, whether or not you know, it'd be good for him if he makes the grade, but you sort of get the impression that this is just a stopgap whilst they get their players back from injury. Mm. Uh, but you know, good luck to him. I think it obviously it's. It certainly didn't affect Preston the other night. He had a, yeah. you know, a very good win at, uh, at Forest, but I think you know they obviously haven't strengthened. You know, he, he played very well at Fulham earlier in the season, mm. and he's a strong number nine. I would have, I wouldn't have been disappointed had he been somebody we would have signed. Mm. Now, what about that midfield player, that attacking player that West Ham have offered? Was it twenty million for? And you guys are digging your heels and asking for fifty. Uh, well, we, he's our captain, and we don't want to sell him. Yeah. Uh, and I think we made that very clear. Um, to Newcastle in the summer, mm. uh, to West Brom earlier in the transfer window, and to West Ham. Mm. He's our captain. He hasn't been uh, completely match fit. He's got a problem with his knee, uh, which is the reason why he didn't play last weekend. And uh, you know, I think the club, you know, Fulham don't have to sell their best players. Mm. I think the one player that probably will go if we don't get promoted will be Ryan Sessignon. Yeah. But I think we will hold on to him as long as we can to get the, you know, the, the, the maximum fee. And he is. Um, truly star potential. I mean, at 17 years old, yeah. he's now scored 11 goals for us. Mm. So, so you fancy your chances of getting in the playoffs, Steve? Your boys are coming off. Well, I think we're sitting in... I, 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 I have to say, at 10 o'clock last night, when we hadn't sort of brought anybody in, uh, but by 11 o'clock, when we'd signed Mitrovic from yeah. Newcastle and bought Cyrus Christie from Middlesbrough, and I, uh, and I think with Matt Target that we signed the, earlier in the window, mm -hmm. night, those are the three positions, pretty much, that uh, all Fulham fans were hoping that uh, we would cover. So it does seem as if the board have backed um, Jakanovic. Mm -hmm. They shipped out some of the players that were brought in that he didn't want uh, and brought in sort of three, three much stronger players. So um, I'd be disappointed at this point if we don't, if we don't stay in the top Steve, three. Steve, who have you got this weekend? Um, we are at home to Nottingham Forest, which should be very interesting because they just brought six players in. Yeah. Um, whether or not they'll be able to integrate them in time for Saturday, but uh, it should be a good game. Yeah, on the yeah. current form, you should beat them, you know, but it's strange with that championship. You would, you would think so, but then, yeah, I, I mean, Wolves, very interesting. They? I mean, Forest have only won one of their last sort of eight or nine games in the league, and that was away at Wolves. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's a crazy division. I mean, there are a few big games this weekend in the championship. You've got mm. Wolves against Sheffield, Sheffield United, mm -hmm. um, Leeds against Cardiff, Derby Brentford will be yeah. an interesting one, and Norwich Middlesbrough. So there's some, some, some you know, closely matched games there. Yeah, you forgot about Preston, Hull City, but Steve, <laughs> ah, I get your point, yeah. Well, again, I think that you know Hull haven't won in uh, yeah, a long uh, time, you know, yeah. about two, a couple of months in the league, yeah. and uh, desperately close to the bottom. I think uh, after Preston's win at Forest the other night, you know, and, and you know they're not far behind the playoff place. Yeah. I think that's definitely a game that Preston will, will target. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Stevie, it's uh, wonderful to talk to you, and uh, Steve, I've got a final question for you. Are you going to change your last one standing pick from Man United to <laughs> the well, last night? After, 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 you know, as I say, luckily they're playing Huddersfield, who I mm. thought were even worse than United the other night. So I, I think I'll stick with United.
All right, Steve. Very, no panic at keep all. Keep well. Thanks very much okay. for your interest, all right. Steve. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. All, all right. right. Cheers. Bye bye, Steve. All right, fantastic. There we know what's happening with the, the, what UK is thinking about uh, these transfers and these new players coming and going in the championship. But quickly, just to touch on the Premier League results for those who missed it on Tuesday night, Budge. Swansea, Arsenal, 3-1. Yeah. You know, we talk about Arsenal at home, dangerous. There's something missing there, Paul. I'd yeah. made you said the best thing that could have happened, got rid of Sanchez. There's no fight in the team. Yes. There's nothing... So new boys got to help them. Yeah, new boys will help, but it's defensive reinforcements they yeah. need, not going forward. You know, you got to look for them. Didn't they go out the FA Cup away from home? Yeah, Nottingham Forest, Forest. beat them. Yeah. Just, uh, West Ham, Crystal Palace. Yeah. Palace scored early, onside yeah. Benteke. Yeah, finally got a header. Yeah. You know, fair result, penalty, Chicharita got caught 1-0. Fair result by all accounts. But I was watching the Arsenal game. Yeah. Mm. Liverpool, uh, too good for Well, once they got the first goal, Huddersfield yeah. can't score. It's serious yeah. trouble. Serious trouble, yeah. Okay, then... Uh, Wednesday, Chelsea, Bournemouth, obviously a howling result for Chelsea. I just saw the goals. You're, you're, you're confident Conti's on thin ice? Uh, he, I just think he's going to walk. He's going to walk, hey? Yeah. I think he's going to walk. You because, can't take uh, uh, the abuse and... And, and it, they pick your players for you. Are you got a Giroud? Are you kidding me? No, no, with all due respect, he's on his way with out. With all due is respect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, Everton came back with a, yeah. with a, with a win over Leicester. Leicester without Mahrez, yeah. but uh, Vardy scored again. Everton, hard to beat at uh, Goodison, Paul. They've got a good yeah. record there. Only United have beaten there in the last Arsenal few Arsenal throw out, scored both. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle 1-1. One, one. Burnley yeah. came back. Yeah, 1-0. Well, missed a penalty Newcastle as well. Yeah, I think yeah Burnley are fighters, Paul. That team, you go and get the second goal. Yeah. They, but they haven't fight. won for some time yeah. from, from right. Now. Uh, Southampton, Brighton. Brighton won up early. Yeah, penalty. Southampton in trouble, Paul. I think it's yeah. 13 games they haven't won. <laughs> Big game this week for them. Man West City, Man away. City. No, just keep going, Paul. Aside, Division West above what's in the yeah. league. Yeah. West from a bottom now, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Stoke City, uh, new boy in charge, got a Paul draw Lambert. with Watford. Oh, They're unbeaten both three. Yeah, unbeaten interesting, three. Watford. And then Tottenham United, we've yeah. spoken about. Okay, top of the log. Yeah. It's all over for That's me. That's all over. Okay, now the, the, the fight for second now becomes tighter because there's only five points between Man United and Tottenham, and there's four yeah. teams involved. Chelsea did themselves no favours, losing 3 0. They've got Fortunately for everybody else, yeah. Arsenal are six behind Spurs. Uh, they've got no chance, they're out of it. They can't make top four? No. Nope. Mathematically, everyone's got a chance. You can't, but uh, just the way you watch them play, there's no chance of that. And then the bottom, from 13, there's six points from 13 to 20th. But yeah, that's just uh, unbelievable. Yeah. And I don't think West Brom will go. I think Sturridge will help them get out of it. They can score goals. So know, it's they, the Brightons they, and uh, the Huddersfields. Gee, yeah, they're all going back in. They, yeah. Stoke could still be drawn into it. Southampton, yeah. Swansea, Newcastle. Big it's result tough. for Newcastle. Oh, the, the point was uh, stop the bleeding. But, but you, you know, but we looked but, at it, when Crystal Palace were gone. Yeah. They were gone. But they score goals. Now, yeah, but now they're, they're 13th. Yeah. It can turn in two, three yeah. results. Yeah. Okay, right. let's look at our local soccer, but getting interesting as well. Yeah. AX Cape Town, way too good. 3 0, couldn't Pirates. believe it. Pirate chances as well, but you know, AX and Cape Town, Paul. Could have been 6 3. They do. Yeah. They, 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 they second bottom, but yeah, they just can't right. win away from home. That's the problem. I'm a Zulu, great result. Yeah, great result. Super sport, Paul. It's, it's, you know, just watching, I watch quite a bit of it, and they look like they sold <coughs> you know, They've yeah. sold the big boys gone to Sundowns, and they're in trouble. they third bottom. They've only won one in 13. Super sport, hey, that's Serious right. Serious okay. trouble with all the money. Now, here are the standings, Badger. It's yeah. very interesting. We, 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 we've been banging on the drum that Sundowns would win the league. Uh, yeah, so one or two other results go yeah. against them. It's now they're tight. four points clear uh, after 19 games of yeah. Cape Town City, who have hung in there. Kaiser Chiefs have hung yeah. in a point behind Cape Town City. Pirates could have done with that. They've had an extra match now and they're down 30 yeah. points. Free State Stars, 29. Marisburg, great. Going Season great. Done a great job, Fabio Davids. Yeah. And, then, and then the bottom, the bottom of Platinum Stars, 15. Well, they're trying to sell the club, but no one's going to buy them when they're in that when they're serious trouble. Uh, Platinum Stars, 15 points. They're dropping off. Yeah. Ajax Cape Town, 20. Working up to Super Sports Town, 21. Bit of Vits, they're getting out of it. Yeah, they'll get 21. out of it, yeah. Polokwani 21 and Amazulu 23. Yeah, big result for them. They hadn't got the three points. It was second bottom. Yeah, that's our turns quickly, right? Look, let's look at the Premier League fixtures this weekend. As you know, we've got last one standing and that. And uh, they'll come then. I want you to give me your opinions on these games. Burnley at home. They need a win. But who comes I just into don't town? See it, uh, who comes into town? The big guys. I just don't see it, Paul. You know, the way Man City are playing. They, they will be uh, passionate. Oh, you know, because that ground's open. The wind will be howling. So it'll test Man City. But... They've got too many resources, Paul. Burnley... They're just too good. 
just going too strong. They score goals. Paul. I, I watched the goal yesterday, Budge. Uh, the Man City got one of their later goals. Mm. The guy went out of his way to bring down De Bruyne. Yeah, he and missed a tackle. He yeah. missed it. He went. That was a yeah, dangerous a tackle. tackle yeah. And he, he rode it and went on. Yeah. He's a great player. Nah, he's alongside Kane, best two in the league by furlong. You know? Yeah, you're right. How's Man City? Kane's passing skills. Oh, That's his strength. He passes beautifully. But here we go. Bournemouth, Stoke City. He's last night, but this will be a battle, Paul. You it's know, hard Stoke's, for Stoke to win there. Yeah, but Stoke will try and keep it tight. They've improved defensively. I listened to Ryan Shawcross the other day. He said the manager's gone in. To hell what Mark Hughes is saying. We're going back to the panel beating way, keeping it tight, giving nothing away. And they'll try and hit them on the break with that aerial assault. They've got yeah. big boys up front. Got a fancy Bournemouth, but a draw a big yeah. player for me. Brighton, West Ham? Well, I can't have Brighton. But I they can't had have signed, West Ham. Jeez, they're rubbish. They've lost one in ten. West Ham. And that was Newcastle beat yeah, them but You know, home. they've got the Scottish defender managing yeah. them. You know, they, they, they came over the draw, they came over the draw Spurs. Yeah. They always they draw in there. And you can't watch them. No, Gee, terrible to watch. Terrible what, to watch. You know, Brighton can't score. They've got Aloha from Leicester. Yeah. And they've signed another striker. Big game for Brighton. Yeah, both of them. But they've only won one of the last nine at home. And if, when you get those results, Paul, I think West Ham yeah, yeah. will get at least a draw in that game. Yeah. Now, Swansea City are 4 to 1. Who would have thought they would have beaten Arsenal? Yeah, and but that was at home, and they beat Liverpool. Yeah, yeah they were lucky against Liverpool, but they deserved it against Arsenal. Yeah, yeah Arsenal. Probably. But it's away from home. If Moritz is playing, you know, I play. think Leicester, Leicester at home are a good team, Paul. Yeah, you they, know, they're good body team in them. They yeah. fly out. You got fancy Leicester good seven game, and yeah. tens in our bets. Yeah. Man United one to seven. Yeah, it's because Huddersfield looking for a double. Well, if ever there's a game that United are looking after the debacle of last night, it's Huddersfield at home. Yeah, you know there'll be a few boys. Yeah, I, think. I think there's going to be a great rebound from United. They're going to thump well, Huddersfield. Well, if you can't beat Huddersfield by two or three at home, the, you know what amazes me about your team, Budge, is that you listen to commentators talking about them, and they're, they're, they keep saying, "Well, it's it's the wrong combination. You've got to give Rashford a bit of time." And mm. there's different. I, I thought Anthony Marshall was wasn't at the races. Nah, there were a few of them. You know, but... and he's got such early in the game. He yeah. nearly got them at the game. He's a, he's a superb player. But then who are you going to play? The biggest you, problem in the team, I believe, the striker is the striker. Yeah, he doesn't too. offer any. He doesn't get in behind. He, he doesn't. He doesn't he's, show. He's got great passes around him. Great. Yeah, uh, don't wing be backs. surprised. You know, he'll be on his. Oh, guns on his way. It's a lot of money, if, but he's going to be. If Zlatan was fit, would they drop the striker? Well, I think Zlatan's crucial bugger. I think he's yeah. going to MLS, as they yeah. say. Yeah. But uh, Zlatan, I would play. I can't have the centre forward Lukaku. He's a flat track bully, as they've said. I just look and at his then, runs, but he doesn't who, show. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the young boy who's scoring goals for them. They took him off late in the game. Lingard, yeah. He's playing well. Yeah. He gets forward quickly. Sure. I think he's a better player than Herrera. Yeah. I think he does more than Mata. Mm -hmm. uh, the other guy's more defensive now. Matic, he's, yeah, he's... We just need know. another midfield player to release them, Paul, because yeah. we can't yes, defend. To release Pogba him, last yeah. night was disgraceful. And I'm yeah. glad Mourinho pulled him off. Yes, just yes. to show you've hey, never been bigger than the club. Yeah. So just still, get your you know, act uh, he's shown touches of brilliance, but, no, he has. but he hasn't been uh, yeah. the, the full product. Well, you've got to have money. a centre forward. If you yeah. haven't got a centre forward, who do you play up to? You knock it up and come straight back. back. Yeah, who and do he you doesn't play show, Paul. That's yeah. what my argument is. A midfield player, when you get the ball, you want somebody you can yeah. get the ball to You feet. can play a ball up to Aguero. Kane, well, that's Salah. Yeah. You know, these boys take the ball yeah. and they get you get your team coming forward. Yeah. Okay, so that was the team. Huddersfield, yeah. So, okay, we, we're going with uh, that. What was the next one we got? Well, I think West Brom. I was impressed with them. Uh, I watched them against Liverpool. Those VAR decisions, while they were right, they went yeah. against them. Yes. And I was impressed with the fight. I think they'll beat Southampton. Southampton's struggling. They're struggling. They haven't won a nine away. While they're fighting, I was impressed with what I saw from West Brom. You know, mm. last night, Man City, not many teams are going to go there and do anything. But I think 16 to 10, West Brom's a bet. They're in our... In our yeah. bets. And then Arsenal, 3-10? to 10? Can't trust them. You know, Everton are slowly. Big Sam will get it right. Mangala's on loan. He's better than what they've got at the back. I can see Everton getting a point there. Yeah. Crystal Palace, a tough at home. I like Crystal Palace. You know, Newcastle, you know, I just feel Struggling for Rafa Benitez. I like him. He's yeah. been crying about the transfer. Do they I, give him any money? No, nah, he got a few in on loan. But I can see Crystal Palace winning easily here. Liverpool Tottenham be a very good game. I think you know, the way Tottenham, you never know with Tottenham yeah. away from home, but I think this They're, is a great chance you, for Tottenham. You, 
We're so much better than Ericsson. Yeah. You saw the Southampton game, no yeah. Ericsson. Ericsson just is one of those yeah. players. But but Liverpool going forward are very Liverpool quick, Liverpool are going to be in their face. And if yeah. ever Spurs have a weakness, it's when yeah. I can watch them against yeah. Southampton. Yes. Southampton the were just right in their throat. To the, Liverpool be the same. But yeah. I can it, see it being it, a draw. Me too. I can see it being a draw. I'll take a draw now because Liverpool yeah. are a very good side. Uh, Watford oh. need to win. But Chelsea now going to be well, rebound now stuff. now the pressure's on uh, Chelsea. I, yeah. I think it's a good bet, 5-10. to 10. It may even drift after last night. Yeah. You know, Watford, this, uh, you know, just listening last night to one of the commentators, I think it was Don Hutchinson, and he was said, if the Watford-Stoke game, if there's not a red card in that game, will go down to mine. Were there any? No. So he's, he's so mining. You can he's see in Wales getting this physical, weekend. those boys. So, uh, we'll see Don Hutchinson Chelsea in the mines. Chelsea for me. Okay, let's move on. Now we're doing the local oh, league. This big is game, interesting. Second against first. This is a massive game. Yeah. In Cape Town, Cape Town City, a good side. Sundowns yeah. have got the players. They have. Well, I watched this. We had a bet on Sundowns to beat Chiefs. And Pizzo played three centre halves. He didn't want to get beat. He does that against Cape Town City. He'll be in trouble. But they've got good players. Billy at Percy Tarr. Yeah, They're Town a good team, Sundowns. Player, yeah. And Cape Town City, we, no one way. The, the boy they sold, Dolly. Yeah. Really? He got he's, in Europe. Europe. he's in uh, France with Montpellier. Sure, he was a and good And the other player. centre forward, Castro, he's gone to Chiefs. I was impressed with Chiefs yeah. last week. Yeah, they're getting better. You know, I, I wrote them in the, yeah. uh, uh, the, the other team, Pirates off, and I thought Chiefs can't score goals, but maybe they can. Free State Stars, yeah, 12 I to like 10. I like Free State Stars. You know, I watched them against uh, Barocca. I watched Barocca against Golden Arrows. How Arrows never won, I don't know. Because yeah. they were the second leg of our bet. Mm. Ended up being 2-2. I think Free State Stars at home, Bethlehem, 12 to 10. Good things. Super Sport United. Just can't have Super Sport, Paul, you know. Why? They're just going through the they're motions. Just one they're sulking, 13. you say. Yeah, they've had a long season. They got to the CAF Confederations Cup final. They haven't had a break. They sold Brocky. Just doesn't look like there's much harmony there. And there is everything that could go against you is going against them. Bloom Celtic away from home. But the last six meetings between the two teams have all ended in draws. Wow. Here's an interesting uh, game. Draw. Yeah, I like Chiefs here, Paul. I know Vitz have come right, but Vitz I was impressed with Chiefs. Chiefs are a better side. Good team. Yeah, Chiefs are a better side. But you know, uh, you know Hunts, Gavin's, Hunts, uh, he's got the champions. Yeah. It's like Chelsea are struggling. These yeah. guys are struggling much more. Draw a big player. But yeah. uh, they played in the Telcom knockout, and Chiefs had a player sent off early on, and Vitz beat them 1-0. Okay. I like Chiefs of the two Pirates, teams. Maritzburg. Oh, you know, you never know with Pirates. You know, they got beat 3-0 last night in Cape Town. Marisberg are a good team. He's a good coach, said Fadlou Davis. Yeah. You know, draw a big player. But, you know, you expect Pirates at home. Yeah. Marisberg are a dangerous team. Yeah. yeah. This league's tough too. Will no, you believe never it? Now, Amazulu are hanging in this league. I draw a big player between these two. Yeah. Well, they both won't want to get beat. They level on points with 23. Avoiding defeat will be their biggest aim. So, a draw for me there, 2-1. to one. Polokwani? Yeah, I like Polokwani at home. You know, Aix so away we... from home. You know, Aix second, bottom, they have a go. They just can't perform away from home. home. They're good at home. Polokwane score goals. They're dodgy at the back, but uh, I like Polokwane, Paul. Chipper and Platinum? Well, Platinum are gone. That's a quarter year, five points behind. Roger doesn't seem too confident. They're trying to sell the club. Chipper, the chipper Marisburg game. Chip hit the bar in injury time to get... They drew one all. Seven yeah. to ten. I wouldn't take a South African team seven to ten, but Chipper United should be too good for Platinum. All right, now let's have a look at this, but This is the first soccer section. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a mixture of games. Yep, I've gone uh, Man City to beat yeah. Burnley. I think uh, Free State Stars will be too good for Barocca. I can't have Super Sport United. I've gone Bloemfontein Celtic win and draw. I've gone the field with a Vitz yeah, Chiefs game. Too. I've gone the, the local derby, Amazulu Arrows. And I've gone Pirates win and draw against Maritzburg, 2-1-6. Okay, and then the next yeah, one? Yeah, the English one, I've gone the field with Bournemouth Stoke. I think that'll be a hell of a physical battle. Likewise, Brighton, West Ham. While I like West Ham, Brighton with a lower up front will give them a chance. I think Les will be too good for Swansea. Likewise, Man United against Huddersfield. And I've thrown the draw in West, uh, West Brom, Southampton, and Arsenal, Everton. I've thrown the draw in there, 2-1-6. Yeah. Everton might be turning it around. Okay, the 10. Soccer 10, yeah, I've gone the field, Bournemouth Stoke. I've gone West Ham win and draw at Brighton. I've banked Fulham to beat Forest, Leicester to beat Swansea, and United to beat Huddersfield. Uh, second page, I've gone the field with Norwich, Middlesbrough. I've gone Sunderland, win and draw. They've got to win. Otherwise, they're in serious trouble at home against Ipswich. I've gone West Brom, win and draw against Southampton. I think Wolves will be too good for Sheffield United. And I've thrown the draw in with uh, Arsenal, Everton. 288. Okay. Uh, soccer 13, I've changed it this week. I've found a few more bankers. I've gone Arsenal, win and draw against Everton. I've gone the field, Bournemouth, Stoke. Yes. Win and draw West Ham at Brighton. A bank in Leicester to beat Swansea, United to beat Huddersfield, West Brom to beat Southampton, Fulham to beat Forest. I've gone the field with Leeds and Cardiff, likewise Norwich, Middlesbrough. 
Preston can't beat Hull City at home, then I play off hopes. Where, where are your team, Preston? We're three points behind Fulham, we're sixth. Sixth, okay. We, at home, we just can't win at home. We don't get a beat away from home. But you're but going for them this week. We've got a, no option, Paul. We can't beat Hull, can't yeah. beat anybody. And you QPR, just sold a striker. Yeah, but we sold him last week, we won 3-0. Okay. But uh, QPR win and draw at Barnsley, that'll be a desperate match. I think Reading have turned the corner. corner definitely. They won 3-1 in midweek. I think they'll beat Millwall, who's struggling away from home. And I think Sunday will beat Ipswich, 3.45. Okay, right. Now we come to the part of the show that I love best. Yep. Budgie's bet. Talk about this quartet, Budge. Okay, I've gone Crystal Palace to beat Newcastle. I've gone West Brom to beat Southampton. I've gone Leicester to score in both halves against Swansea. They come flying out the gates, Leicester. And yeah. I've gone both teams to score Liverpool, Tottenham, 4,300 to 200. Okay. The championship quad, I've gone Sunderland to beat Ipswich. I've gone Wolves to beat Sheffield United. And Aston Villa to beat Burton Albion and over two and a half total goals. They've come right Aston Villa. And I think only a point behind Derby for automatic promotion. Motion, yeah. And then both teams to score, QPR, Barnsley, 2,900. We always thought Villa would be up there. Yeah, too many good players, Too many Paul. good players. You, the cream always comes to the top. Yeah. The win and draw, I've gone uh, West Ham at Brighton. West Brom win and draw against Southampton. I've put your boys first to get a positive result at Liverpool. I've gone Arbor against Sevilla. And I've gone uh, Espanyol, a bit of a controversial one. They've got Barcelona at home. Barca played tonight in the... In the Copa del Rey, they play Valencia. Espanyol going to get a point off. Well, they, got, they beat them 1-0 in the Cup three weeks ago, and they got beat 2-0 last week. It's just that Barca are so far clear in that league. They've got a big game tonight. Thursday night, they play Valencia, the first leg of the Cup. So they're going to play all their boys there. Yeah. They'll make a few changes. I think Espanyol can get at least a draw there. Let's Over two so. and a half goals, uh, Arsenal Everton. Crystal Palace, Newcastle, Leicester, Swansea. Had my doubts about Liverpool, Tottenham, but uh, I just think there has to be goals. Too many quality forwards on the team. Uh, my doubt would be Crystal Palace, Newcastle. No, Newcastle, Newcastle are poor at uh, New yeah. The last nine home games, Crystal Palace have scored two goals seven times. Okay. So I think that that's the. I think All the right, Liverpool let's have a look one. at the next one then. Yeah, the Spanish omelette, which we caught last week. I've uh, gone uh, Jeff Getafe to beat Leganes, who also playing in the Spanish Copa del Rey. I've gone Arbar to beat Sevilla. I've gone both teams to score. Alibes, Salta Vigo and Girona, Atletico Bilbao, 3,200 to 200. Collis King? Yeah, I've gone Chelsea to beat Watford. Leicester to beat Swansea. Aston Villa to beat Burton Albion. I've gone Wolves to beat Sheffield United. Catafe to beat Leganes. And Atletico Madrid to beat Valencia, 3,500 to 200. Sure. Well, Budge, we look like we're in for some money. Now, don't forget, we opened up the show telling you about uh, last one standing. We're closing the show reminding you, get your bets in. Uh, there were 350 or so started. It's down by 100. And uh, get them in early to budge, and he'll update us who's gone for what. It should get tougher. Budge, I'm tipping another 100 go missing. Well, if you're not to go missing this week, I think there'll be more than 100. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's never, not easy, Paul. Yeah. All right, there we go. Make sure you're on side.